everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to do a what's in my bag and also a mini review of my Chanel Mini Square. This is in the blue with caviar leather and it has ruthenium hardware. I really like this bag. I did an unboxing of this bag recently and I was actually unsure about keeping this bag because I felt that the sides were a bit squishy but many of you told me to keep it because it's such a beautiful colour and so hard to come by and I'm so glad I kept it because I love this bag. I've got it pretty stuffed right now. I'm going to change the view so you can see what I've got inside this bag. Right now my bag is uh, pretty stuffed. It's okay, it's not too heavy. So I'm going to show you what I've got inside. This is my pouch which I keep my headphones and my thumb drive. I've got a recharge power bank. This one can charge uh, two iPhone 6. So that's good. I've got a lipstick. This colour is in Spirit and it's a mauve, mauve brown. That's the lipstick I'm wearing today. I've got both of my handphones put at the corner. I've got my pink uh, key clay, which is uh, from LV. I recently got this. I've got a tampon. I've got another lipstick, or basically this is a lip balm from Dior. I've got a really short um, charger, lightning charger. So I like this to bring along. And I've got my eye drops. So that's the bag, um, fully empty. I didn't use the um, pocket or the zip because I find that I don't really reach for it. I do use the one at the back when I get parking tickets, I slip it at the back. I'm going to try and put my iPhone here. Yeah, you, you can't actually put it. You could put it vertically like that, but I don't really use the bag. I don't really want to stretch it, so mainly for parking tickets or any papers, I put it at the back. At minimum, I need to bring all of these out for a full day. So my two phones, a wallet, a battery charger, eye drops definitely because I wear contacts and a lip balm. Tampon is always in my bag. So I'm going to show you a few other ways. So if you don't have that key clay, you, you might have a zippy coin. That fits in well right at the side. You've got to be a bit strategic about this bag so you can't just chuck it in. If you chuck it in, you could fit things but you won't be able to bring a lot. So this is an iPhone 6 that fits really comfortably at the side. Maybe you'll have a lipstick. Um, I don't know, maybe two lipsticks, okay? And if you're like me, you've got eye drops. And yeah, that's a lot of space for you to put other things as well. Now I'm going to show you what big things you could put. This is my um, Agenda PM. And I'm going to put this right here. And look, it fits perfectly into the groove. No stretching. So I'm going to put that. I'm going to put my Zippy coin and say um, lip balm. That's it. It fits everything. I got a subscriber who told me that she uses her Agenda PM as a wallet. So if you were to bring that as a wallet, you know, you could put say your cards right here and put some cash inside. In fact, you could put your cash in the pockets right there. You put your cards there. Put this, one phone, um, a lipstick and say, I don't know, eye drops. And that fit, oh that's a bit snuggly. Yeah. So that fit well, well as well. So if you pack it strategically, you could really, really put a lot of things inside. Um, it's not heavy and I think it's a really good buy. Goes with everything. What I'm wearing, just a t-shirt and pair of shorts. Looks great. So I'm going to do some modeling shots of this bag just to show you how it looks like along my body. So the strap for this bag is not really long. If you wear it on your shoulders, for me, I'm 5 feet 4. It falls about 2 inches beneath my hip bone. So from the side, that looks like that. Now if you wear it as a cross body, definitely it's shorter. And for me, I quite like this look as well because it's small, it's cute. It feels like you're wearing a sling pouch, waist pouch. So it falls right here. I like this look. It's cute. And I normally wear it on the back. So it's just on top of my bum. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're thinking about getting this bag or you've seen it in the store and you're, you're not so sure, try it out. It is an amazing piece to have. When I first saw it, I was like, can it fit a lot? But now that I've got it, when you pack it strategically, you can really bring enough for you to just go out the whole day. Because it's such a small bag, you can really get away with really bright colors like 
um, this season came out with pink, with blue, with purple, red, really really nice. I like black bags but I think for this size, a pop of colour would makes it stand out a little bit more and makes it more fun. So if you've got any questions about this bag, let me know in the comments down below and I'll do my best to get back to you. So everybody, take care and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!